honestly, it's like he knows I'm giving you all the attention and not him. Because God forbid I should, you know, look away from him for more than five minutes in the space of an entire day. No! <laughs> yes, I am filming. <laughs> Do you want to say hello? Come here. Oh. There you go. I'm getting attention. Getting all the attention. Showing off your very cute, handsome face. Your flicky tail. You flicking me. What you flicking me for? What you flicking me for? What you flicking me for? <laughs> oh. Can I record now? Oh, you're gonna flick the camera. Oh, you're flicking the audience. You're flicking everyone. You're getting flicked. <laughs> Every time I record down. I'm recording a video that would take less than 10 minutes. But it's gonna be longer if you keep doing this. I have never touched a kit in my life. I did not want to, ever. The thought of a kit made me almost sick because the value of things that you're getting for your money just didn't seem to be paying up and I don't really- I haven't even bought all the expansion packs for Sims, I've bought a lot but I, I don't- it's not a goal of mine to have all of them so I don't like wasting my money on things I'm not going to use. Saying that, <laughs> I saw the Blooming Rooms kit and I really like using vegetation and plant life in decoration. I have no plants in my own home because I cannot trust myself to keep them alive. So yes, I don't have any plants. Any plants I do have are fake ones. So today we're just going to jump into it and we're going to have a look and see the value for money. And just, I mean, I've seen a few bits about it. It looks good, like decor wise it's really good and it's going to be able to add and you're going to be able to use it for so many different types of builds which is going to be good but I just really want to have a little explore of it. So it's going to be a bit different uh, to many of the uh, videos or you know sort of review content videos. I'm not going to be getting them all out on a lot. I'm actually going to try and build a conservatory area with all the items. I'm going to try my hardest all the items included. I might add in items from other packs just to, you know, build up the room so it doesn't look so barren or, you know, without detail because I want this to be like quite a cute little room um, or conservatory, but we're going to try it that way today and then we can see what it looks like in game, what it, you know, all of that. So, liven up your space. Shelving, tables and even light fixtures become living decor with the addition of enchanting foliage. Potted and hanging plants transform any room into a small slice of paradise. Vibrant vegetation takes the place of curtains and wall art. With so many verdant colours, it will feel like living in a literal greenhouse. Fill your sims home with cheerful, peaceful plants. Delight in a lush, soothing atmosphere of growth all around what with unexpected leafy detail and natural beauty. After your Sims game uh, updates, it's like every expansion pack is shown to you and your thing is new. When it's not new. But it's shown to you that like, like it's new. Because mine does and it drives me flipping insane. Because I'm not going to spend all my time going through all the things to you know, um, make, make them not look yellowy, but it's just a pain in the bloody ass. I'm not gonna lie about it. Drives me nuts. Honestly, drives me nuts. But does that ever happen to anyone else, or is it just my game? This does it's just like that. Well, I would not be surprised if it was just my game. Right, so let's have a look at what we've got. I see a shelving unit, which would be rather helpful.
houseplant hobbyist shelving. Ew. This is actual greenhouse shelving, but I don't know. Like, it could go. It could. It could. Let's have a look. Let me just. Thank you. Right, I've got to figure out. I do want to have a little seating area in here and I know that we don't have that in here because it didn't say anything about it. Oh. question is what do we have though what do we put in here i mean it is only a greenhouse so it doesn't need to be like extravagant i think we'll go for something like that something simple because if you're coming in for a greenhouse you're not coming in here to really sit down you're sort of coming more in here to you know get on with stuff but at the same time you would want to chill a little bit i guess if it had been like a if you had a lot of work to do, so I'd get that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop the seat thingy, majiggy, wiggy here, and then, yeah, that's good. And then we'll get like a armchair thing, sort of, if that makes sense. Like, I've got spa stuff, I've clicked on you lot a thousand times. Why? Why? Right, so I think a, like a rocking chair would actually be quite cute for here <laughs> oh does that clash the vibe it clashes the vibe right Never mind, we've got our CT thing. I'm just gonna go with that. Right, so. Show all. Kits, yes. Okay, so that's cute. It's little dinky winky. So that could go on here, I guess. Can I? I'm gonna quickly put that back in there because I am gonna use it. Like I said, I'm gonna try and use everything in here. But I do want to just sort of have a look and have a little play with things before committing to where things ought to be there we go i think we're going for a white and brown theme in here to be fair which isn't bad like i already have a build in mind which i want to do another video but where it's not like just white i'm literally going for very simple base colors here because this isn't like a mass thing oh my god they were changing they're different animals <gasps> that oh that's adorable oh and there are flowers in some of them okay that's cool i like that but no yeah, i'm not going into intense detail with this because it is just like a little mini review i'm just having a look at what they've got this isn't me building with it as i properly would it's just like a little mini quick build for fun so i do have ideas and i am very excited about what this has to offer um but don't expect this to be like you know what am i trying to say if you could okay if you watch it, I've basically got other builds in mind because I don't just build with one colour base as white because this is just a lot of white. Um, but I do like it. I'm not going to lie. I am liking it. Yes, all the greenery. I am loving all the vegetation that it is offering. Like, I do feel as though we've been missing this a little bit because I don't know how anyone else has felt but having the same plants constantly in every world to sort of try and decorate with 
has been just samey samey. Here we've got like, let me see in this one, like all the leaves change colour and they're all different. And so it's all really interesting and you can like attach it for different places and different biomes and like I look in here, there's stuff I could use in the jungle, there's stuff I could use on the mermaid island, there's stuff I could use in the city, you know, it's just all this stuff. You can make a really exotic space. And I really love this. I, I'm really actually in love with this. I'm actually very glad that I bought it. Um, this, specifically, I find very funky. Very, very funky. I, I very much like it. And I like how it's pulling the space together. Like, I, I love plants. I don't have any because I don't trust myself to keep it alive, but I do love them. And, you know, oh my god, god that's big. I just not expect it to be that big. But yeah, having plants in game, it definitely adds to when you're designing and building because then you can get really creative with it. And it's all, just not all the same, which is nice. Um, like I'm really excited to mix and match this from stuff from other packs as well. Just just to see what what I can what you know what you can put together, what you can create. I think it'd be really intriguing. Have we got this? Yes we do have this. Anything you've clicked on you've got. God I'm a dum dum sometimes. There we go. I do love this. I really I really really like this. Especially, this is one I've been seeing a vast majority of, picture-wise. Just because you can change the colours of them. So, like, they're completely different there. And it's really intriguing. Let's see if I can... See? Like, they're so intriguing. It's so different. It's, it's really nice and refreshing to have the option. Um, I'm just going to change that back though because I do like that not when it's too bright but when it's like subdued light but you've still got it I do like that this is really cool like a cool divider but yeah it's just all really really I like it I really really like this it's probably one of the things I've actually liked most in a while that's come from EA and for the sims besides country living um, the decorator one I've not really tried there was I've seen so many glitches I have it because I love the decor it comes with but I oh good god I have witnessed the glitches through other people online and I am not willing to experience that in my own game so I've, I've just not tried it like if they can tell me for certain that it is all fixed and we're never gonna have to come across that I'd give it a go but until then I'm just like nope <laughs> I ain't doing it. Nope. You can't make me. Again, like the colours and everything, the differences. I really love this. I love that this one looks like a spiral as it falls down, which is beautiful. What's this one? Oh, another light, which is good. Okay, we'll put the light above the seating area. That's really cute. I'm actually really happy. I might have to save this. I, I think I'm not my. I will. I know I will because I, I'm I'm very happy with this build. Just, just this little thing. Like this was a quick throw together, really think nothing of it sort of thing that I was doing just to review this. I really bloody like it. So I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna save this, and I'm gonna try and use this. But like look look how much that like for a kit it's filled up quite a good space. And it all looks adorable and just gorgeous and very well connected i really really like this and i'm thank you ea for trying well not <laughs> for trying you know it's it's been a while you've actually catered this one to something that people would like i you know i think some of these things they we've just sort of been given um which we wouldn't you commonly use in our games some of the expansion packs some of the things the bunk beds were obviously obviously were a good move uh, to do all that in that color though contrast oh okay oh i really like this can i have this in real life can i have this in my home <laughs> i want it i need to hire a gardener to keep it alive but i want it <laughs> um let's see where we can fit this in because this is the one thing that's not gone in yet i quite oh <gasps> That is an idea enough. 
flip in half. Right. So I want to move this. <gasps> is my vision coming to light? <gasps> I think it is. Yes. 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 Perfect. It's chunky. I don't know how I feel about this bit. It's just chunky. Um, we'll have a nice look at it now. It is definitely good. It'd be good for like a modern build with how chunky and like all the shapes and everything in it. So it'll be good for that. But for now, I don't think I'm going to put it in this. So that's just going to... We don't talk about it. <laughs> that is that is it. We just don't talk about it. Oh, wow. And these have got pink on them. This is awesome. I'm really, really happy with this. Um, but I think I when, like, I'm done. I'm done with this little room as much as I can be. Um, so yeah, it's just like, you guys can see how this space is filled up. It's actually really cozy with all the plants in there. It definitely makes it cozy with all the windows and the lights and the colorings of the lights as well. Just the ones that have been set automatically are really nice. I really do like them. I find in a lot of the, like sims lights you can change the color obviously but their default is like this yellow i don't fancy it i like the cool white because it just shows the color of the items better um so i really like the default lighting that this is on um obviously we saw it during the day it was a bit way too bright but on this sunset hue of the daytime for it i really really like it i do really like this little space i really value this kit i'm gonna be using this a lot more in my builds and stuff but yeah i i really love this i feel like ea actually did a good job they actually did a good job uh <laughs> not something i get heard said often um obviously you know they they do try because if they didn't try we wouldn't have packs but what well, wrong but you know it's been a bit touch and go with some of the things um but yeah i really 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 like this kit so yeah this is probably where i'm gonna leave it off for today guys i hope you enjoyed this little review video i really like it i'm gonna be using this a lot more often i don't i've seen i've seen the other kits i've seen it as not something i would pay paid to spend my money on but i did this and i'm very glad i did this is something that i will definitely value and use a lot more so yeah that's my take on it so hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh <laughs> stay safe everyone stay happy stay your awesome selves and have a lovely rest of the day bye